Thanks everyone for coming down by the way, I appreciate you all, thank you. Louie, these people, we, we did um, a keyword contest for this Lunch with Louie event, and they had to listen all week long, four days straight, and when they heard a keyword, they had to enter. We had thousands upon thousands of entries for this contest to come and meet you today, so this is Amazing. our exclusive group. Amazing, well thanks a lot everyone, thank you. I know that you just got done wrapping up a world tour, which is pretty amazing, plus the Away From Home Festival, that is something that you've curated yourself and created. Um, what was that like? Talk about that experience, uh, traveling the world, and, and how that all went for you, and, and of course the festival. Well, I, it, this was a, the, the tour inside the job was always by far my favorite thing to do, um, and I was lucky enough in the band to do it pretty much every year. And I had to wait quite a long time for my first year of touring, which was this year, but it was worth the wait, it was, it was fucking unbelievable, to be honest. It was um, everything I hoped for and, 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 and more. It's definitely been my best year, uh, professionally, I'd say. And I did maybe 80% of the tour, and then it, towards the end, the uh, next away from home was in Spain. And again, something that you know we've kind of built from the ground up, um, something I'm really, really proud of. And it gives me an opportunity to kind of show my fans the music that I love as well, do you know what I mean? And I know that you love to travel, you've been pretty <coughs> open about that, and I know it's probably hard to pick one favorite spot, especially globally traveling, uh, but do you have any favorites or any spots that kind of surprised you along the way? Um, where we filmed the video in Iceland was really, really cool, really cool place. Um, but it's hard to single out one place, I mean, I'm lucky enough to travel so many different places and it all kind of feels amazing. Do you know what time it is? I know that sometimes it's hard to know. <laughs> never know what time it never is, what, what day it is, maybe what month it is. Very good. Well, we're happy that you're here nonetheless, okay? So thank you for coming and doing this with us. Let's talk about this new album, Faith in the Future, due out November 11th. I'm pretty sure everybody already here has it pre-ordered and ready to go. Um, talk about Hope so. Yeah. <laughs> talk about the process of creating this album, especially compared to your debut, which was Walls. What was different about this one? And, and how does it speak to you? I just had a lot more clarity. I think on the first record, there was so much room for overthinking. Um, and look, I, I'm, I'm really, really proud of the first record, but especially the first half of making it, it was, um, it was pretty stressful. And actually kind of going into this album, I just felt like I had the clarity and I knew exactly what I wanted um, as an artist. So I, I, I entered the process with a much different headspace. But also I worked with a lot more artists on this, uh, in terms of writing on this um, record. And I think that kind of shows in the music, you get a different attention to detail when you work with other musicians, definitely. Are you more of a lyrics first, music later type of artist, or does it depend on the song? I, uh, it does depend on the song. My strength is in lyrics. Um, but normally in the room, Eight times out of ten, the melody will come first, and then we'll add lyric to it. But normally, we'll start out with a concept, something that we want to write about, then the melodies will happen, and then we'll kind of pull lyric to it. Have you ever found inspiration in something that kind of surprised you? Obviously, you want to talk about family and experiences that you've had, but do you ever like have a moment and then be like, I want to write a song about this? Yeah, I can't think of anything specific, but I like, you know, I like to write about personal experience a lot of the time. And uh, it might just be something very random that you see that day or the, the feeling that you, that you feel that day. Um, I normally make a note on my phone, and it's not necessarily a lyric, it's more a concept of something you've seen or something you felt that you think might be you know, relevant and relatable for a song. Uh, let's talk about the lead single, Bigger, Bigger Than Me. We've been playing it nonstop on Hits 96. We absolutely love the song. And there seems to be a lot behind this one, a lot of meaning. You can just feel it in your voice when you're singing the song. So talk about that song a little bit. What does it mean to you? And when it comes to performing it, are, are you ready to do that? Because it seems like there's a lot there. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. It's fucking hard to sing that song. <laughs> uh, yeah, I should have thought about that. I wrote it for me. Um, but no, it's a great, great song to perform. Um, it's got one of those big choruses, the big sing-along choruses. I've performed it maybe two or three times, a couple of times on live TV, which is fucking terrifying. But then at the, at the, at the live show, uh, we played it in Milan, the last show that I played, and that was incredible, actually. Um, in terms of what the song's about, I don't want to go in too much about that. I want to kind of keep it open. Um, but my intention with this first single was to have an ambitious first look and something that felt like a statement of intent as I'm going into the next stage of my career. Do you enjoy that as a songwriter, kind of not giving it all away and letting people make their own interpretation? 
Well, it's something I've learned along the way because on the first record I told everyone what absolutely everything was about. Um, and although, you know, that is nice because the fans get to know, you know, more about me, I suppose. In my opinion, music is about the listener and how they interpret it and what it means to them. Wonderful. Uh, what have you learned about yourself as a solo artist now doing these numerous years on your own, out on stage, it's all about you. What have you learned about yourself as an artist? It's cliche, but I think I think you learn it every day as an artist, as a songwriter, as a performer. Um, you know, I'm lucky enough to have had the amazing experience I had with One Direction, but a lot of the time it doesn't feel relevant. You know, every everything that I've already done with the band, when you do it on your own, it feels very, very different. It's a different kind of pressure. It's a different kind of triumph when you do win. Um, so it's kind of a daily process, really, of just evolving as a person, as an artist. Do you enjoy it more? Um, ooh, that's a that's a good question. Do I enjoy it more? Some days I do, but I tell you what I miss with the uh, with the band is the camaraderie, man. It's nice kind of moving about as a group. And uh, listen, I've got a great team that I travel with, but it was something special about kind of rolling around as a group, even in these kind of situations. You sure, know? and sharing that experience. Like exactly that. Yeah. Very cool. Well, the new album, Faith in the Future. Again, we said it's come out November eleventh, eleven eleven. We are ready to go for that. Why did you choose that as the title for this album, Faith in the Future? Um, it's the first time I've, uh, I've ever done it this way around, but actually that was the title before I'd written any of the songs for this album. And for whatever reason, I just developed like a relationship with this phrase. It kind of spoke to me maybe six months before we started lockdown. And then we went into lockdown, the phrase kind of felt relevant. And my intention for this record is two things. I wanted to be able to stand up as a live album when I do it at the, at the tour show. But I also wanted to feel hopeful. And, and I think, you know, that title, From the Off, gives you that feeling of hope. Well, we cannot wait to hear it, huh, everybody? Yeah. We're gonna let you take a quick break. We're gonna be listening to four songs. Is there anything that you want our ears to pick up on? Anything you want to show up? Or do you want to leave it up to uh, interpretation? I'll leave it up to interpretation. Excellent. <laughs> So Lou's going to take a break. We have four songs to play for you. I'll go through those titles in just a moment. And then we're going to have uh, Louie come back and we'll do some Q&A with you guys. We have your questions and we'll get through as many as we can. Let's hear it for Louie. Thank you, Louie. 